welcome to our first episode of Dr. Willie Love. Yes, I am your Dr. Willie Love. The world is in a tough situation. The world is in the worst shape it's ever been before. We need love in the world today. We need love, pure, unadulterated love. Nothing else can bring us whole again. Nothing else can bring us through this turmoil, this confusion, delusion, whatever words you want to throw in there that got something to do with negative and hate and just, I mean, love is what we need I am here to help you your relationship whether it be good or bad whether it be on his last leg whether it be in bad shape I am here to help you when it comes to love I've been I've been in love since I was 16 years old I've always found love 16 year old, 16 years old is when I first lost my my virginity. Yeah, I, I tell you. And ever since then, I've been looking for love, not just to make love, but 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 to just to be in love. And love sometimes end with maybe that that person you were in love with. But love always comes back. You always find love. And the weirdest situations, in the weirdest forms, in the weirdest individuals, you find love. I've been in so many relationships, I lost count. I've been in multiple relationships at the same time. Sounds bad, I know, but I'm not proud to say it. But I'm proud to, to say I've learned and I've come across so many different scenarios and, and, and so many different objections and and term and turmoil and rough patches and all type of stuff when it comes to love. And I feel like I've pinpointed the answer to love. This is our first episode, and I welcome you. I welcome you with open arms to Dr. Willie Love, episode one. Today we're gonna talk about the general basic definition of love see to me love is not easy love is not it's not uh, a layup it's not an alley you it's not easy happy peaches and cream all the time love is hard when you love somebody that special somebody and even though they drive you crazy or they, they get on your nerves or they or they they just poke you in the eye you still love them and even when you make mistakes even when you do things that you know you ought not do or or you say things that you ought not say love still keeps you united with you and your, your lover today we're going to talk about the true meaning the very general basic understanding of love love is one of the most intense emotions that we experience as humans it is a variety of different feelings states attitudes that range from interpersonal affection to pleasure love can be defined as an intense feeling of affection with no limits or conditions for a person Specifically, when you're in love with someone, you feel an intensely strong and an almost inexplicable passion and desire for him or her. In fact, being in love means that you yearn for this person. You think about them constantly and you crave being around this person and spending every moment with them. What does love mean to you? 
What does love mean to you? Ladies and gentlemen, today, the 15th day of the ninth month, September 2020, love is hard to find. I remember I'll go through a break, a breakup, a rough breakup, tough time argument. Yeah, I'm about to F you. And then, not even 30 minutes go by, I miss, I miss her. I can't live without her. I think about it 24-7. I'm unhappy. I can't play a video game. I can't, I can't go to work. I can't do anything. Because I, that's love. Love keeps you around. Love keeps coming back. Keeps apologizing. P- keeps being a bigger person. Keeps wanting to agree to disagree, but still clash. To make two opposite ends somehow reunite or unite. We are going to take our first caller, our very first caller, calling in to Dr. Willie Love. We are going to hear a situation with a gentleman. Um, I talked to him before the show. I told him to call back in. We're going to put his call, his situation on live air with us today. We're going we're gonna to listen in to his situation, what he's going through, and how I'm going to help him and give him the advice, the love potion that he needs to keep that magic in the atmosphere, that magic, that, that, that happy space, that happy face in his relationship. Let's listen in. Well, miss, I had up. I miss, I had up at all. Okay, I think I got it. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Go ahead and connect them in. Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Love. Yo, hey, what's cracking, Dr. Love? Hey. Hey, man. Uh, I just tuned in to your show, man. It's hey, good to have you. I love it. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you, you know, you came about. Oh, I needed man. This, something like that, man, where I can, you know, listen in. Yeah. Hear some good information about relationships, love. Oh. I love love. Yes, and, sir. Man, yo, hey, I appreciate you having me on your show, man. Hey, no problem. Glad you're here, man. Let's uh, let's definitely hear what you got to say, man. Let's go ahead and see what we can do for you. So, hey, I want to tell you what's going on in my relationship, man. Uh, real quick, real quick. I okay. know you ain't got much time. Um, but, man, me and my girl, man, we've been together about three years. Been married for two. Okay. And it seemed like the love is gone, man. Uh, the passion is gone. Oh, we man. Don't, we don't Sorry, barely yeah. kiss. We have sex maybe once a week, maybe. Um, and we had a baby, oh, you know, man. and she, our attention is on the baby. You know, we, we just, we don't do much. I mean, the corona thing is going around right now, so we don't do much really because right, of that. Right, You know, we really don't go Can't nowhere. Take, okay. I mean, Can't really but go man, nowhere. it's gotcha. dry. So, I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure. We get into it every now and then. Uh, we broke okay. up a few times, Normal. got back together. I don't know, man. I I, I kind of feel like I'm chasing my tail, man. A dog chasing his tail. So, what do you propose, man? You think I should, you know, you know, you think, it's, you think it's the end or what you think? You know what? Uh, that is totally common in a relationship, man. Um, the passion kind of burns, burns low. The passion's still there. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise you wouldn't have sex at all. The passion's still there. It's just burning real low. Um, the coronavirus is happening right now, so I can't see you going out doing a whole bunch of anything right now anyway. Unless you, you know, nature, stuff like that, where you just, you know. Um, I'm not a big fan of going out with my mask on at stores or doing all I mean, so I understand the whole not going anywhere part. Um, but, man... It sounds like a normal relationship. Now, you may say, what you mean normal? Normal meaning, hey, relationships have ups and downs. Just like life. Let's, let's forget love for a minute. Life has ups and downs. Anything you do, your job has ups and downs. The economy has, everything has ups and downs. So, that's not saying the relationship should be over. That's saying... There needs to be talks about what's going on. Somebody got to be the bigger person to put in a little bit more work. Most likely, maybe it should be you because you're calling in about it. Appreciate you calling in. And you are, you know, you're the man. 
you know, the man. So, of course, she needs to put in her half, too, right? Don't get me wrong. But, you know, once you initiate, you know, the comeback, you know, initiate the comeback, you know? But definitely not talking about over, not talking about, you know, because I'm not saying that's the last resort. I'm not saying that right now. Let me ask you a question. Do you love her? Do you love her? Plain and simple. Do you love her? Seeing our definition of love and to be in love, do you love her? Of course I love her. Of course I love her. I love her deeply, man. Case closed, man. If you love her, I'm almost certain she loves you. Absolutely. Absolutely. you just going through a low point in your relationship. You 100%, man. You 100%. Somebody, you, noticed it. I'm sure she noticed it, too. And now it's just time to talk. Somebody need to put the first foot forward. And if she loves you, she'll put the second foot. Can you see yourself? Let me ask you a question. Can you see yourself living without her? Now, you say y'all broke up a couple times. Somebody felt that they couldn't live, function without the other. Am I right? You know, I can't see myself without her. You know, I I, I can't. You know, like I said, we, we broke up a few times. The time that she left, I mean, I almost went crazy. So I definitely can't see myself without her. You're right about that. You guys are not in a situation where, first of all, you're married. You're not in a situation where, and you and you still you ain't been together a couple a few years. Yo, premature um, thinking about divorce. Premature. So you know what? You're right. You're right. So what you need to do? I'm glad you called in, and maybe she may even hear the show or see the show. Um, but what you need to do is, since you realize there's something going on, you need to. Keep putting the put foot forward. Talk about it. You guys sit down. You guys do what you need to do. I'm saying, I know you guys have a baby, and a lot of times the baby brings, you know, um, a gap or a slump in a relationship because the baby is kind of the the focal point right now. But that's not going to always be the case, okay? Um, you guys are a family now. It's it's three people. It's not just two anymore. So you do got to consider. Your little one, okay? So it's not at that point where you need to be tripping. You need to be looking outside the window and doing anything like that, okay? Be you know, be good. Hey, Focus hey, on makes sense to day. me. Makes sense to me. Do something different. You know, a lot of times one person can start a revolution. Martin Luther King, you know, uh, Malcolm X, you know, uh, Gandhi. A lot of people can start a revolution. You start a revolution in your relationship. You be the go-getter. You be the, you know, the first foot forward. And I don't see no problem in you guys, you know, building back your relationship. You know what? Hey, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, Doc. I'm not going to worry about it. Like you said, you know, a lot of marriages go through something like this. Our relationships, when they have a baby, you know, the baby comes in between. 100%. But it's only temporary. 100%. You know, you just try to endure. And we can have more sex, man. I just kind of don't be tripping. She don't be tripping, so we don't trip. Trip. I can, I, it ain't like she denied me. It just, right, I don't, you right. know. So you're right. Trip. You know, put in some more effort. Put, put, give her a kiss here and there. She human. She'll get the, she'll get the feeling, trust me. Oh, you're right, Doc. Hey, I appreciate you having me on the show. You the man. Hey, your relationship's going to be fine. It's growing through it's a little slump. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to panic. Nothing to panic about. Be the revolutionary person the revolution i don't know what the word but be it be the revolution spark off a flame that'll set your whole relationship on fire appreciate you calling in it's your boy dr willie love tune in next time uh as we dig deeper into this thing called love we're gonna bring different stuff to the table all type of crazy entertainment it's gonna have we're gonna have a great time Till the next time.